solve the given initial value problem. So you have this symbol vector x prime, and you are also given the condition first phi a minus lambda a lambda i. Let's call this matrix a subtract with lambda i. That gives you this matrix. Then phi is determinant. That gives you this one. Sim distribute this out. Simplify it. Set this equal to zero. Solve for lambda. You will get lambda equals four and four. Okay. Repeated answers. Repeated values. Okay, so with that being said, you should know what you are going to do next, right? For lambda equals 4, plug it into this one, this matrix. That gives you this matrix, augmented with 0. Okay, so use either one of these equations to solve for the unknown. You can reduce this down to a base matrix, but I think it's just wasting your time, okay? So using this directly, I have negative k1 plus 2k2 equals 0. Solve for k1, I got k2, k2. If I choose k2 equals 1, then k1 is two in my vector k is two one okay now how to find second eigenvector well use the same matrix okay before i do it before doing that when once i have k equal to one i can write my vector s1 which is two one times e to the 40. now to find the second vector you are going to use this matrix but instead of augmenting with Zero, you are going to augment it with two one, the vector you just found. And for this matrix, you use uh, you use variable k one k two. Now for the new matrix, you are going to use a different variables which I call p one p two. Okay, so from the second equation, I have negative p one plus two p two equals one. So for p one, I got two p two minus one. If I choose p two one, then I found out p one is one. Then my p vector p is 1 1 okay now it's time to write out so from once i know p vector p i can write my second answer for second vector my second answer which is second which is vector x2 equals k times t e to the 40 plus p times e to the 40 now it's time to combine them together so all my general Solution is x vector x equals c1 times x vector x1 plus c2 times vector x2. Okay, so we're not done yet. Normally we will done here, but because we are given conditions, so you have to figure out what c1 and c2 are. So with the condition of vector x of zero equals negative one six, plug in zero into this one. You have c1 to one e to the zero, which is one. Log in zero into this one, you have log in zero for t into this one, this becomes zero, and you left with c211. Okay, and that's equal to vector negative one six. Okay, so this like you have uh, 2x plus minus y equals negative one. Okay, so you have a system of x, y. So if I put it into a matrix. I have 2, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 6, which I augment with negative 1, 6, and then I reduce that out to a base matrix. I will get C1 equals 7, C2 equals 13. Then my actual answer of this matrix is x vector x equals 7 times this plus 13 times this. Okay, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.